Hello everybody, today I'm going to keep one of my promises and making an isomalt fruit basket, which I believe uh, this theme will be quite appropriate classic choice for whoever uh, just start working on the cooked sugar and isomalt centerpieces. I also believe that uh, this tutorial will contain some knowledge refreshments uh, for people who are already working with isomalt. Please just sit back and watch the whole video before you start uh, doing your own piece. Because I did an introductory video about isomod basics earlier, I will bypass all the preparation steps to save some time and start directly from the main uh, action. So please watch that video also first if you haven't done that yet. So this is my simple sketch. So I always do that just to see the arrangement and then take some references, just some measurements from that drawing for a start. So we're going to see how to blow apple, uh, bananas, a couple of them, a pear, uh, strawberries, also a few, uh, grape in uh, little balls of 12. So I will arrange that uh, grapes after the other fruits in place. So apricot, orange, this will be the fruit blowing uh, pieces. So the fruits will be quite colorful at the end. And I don't want the uh, colors uh, fighting with other part of the centerpiece, other colors. So that's why I like to keep the fruits alone in colors and then make everything else with sort of more natural colors. The basket will be black first and I will pull to the uh, charcoal color and then the ribbon will be white with some black lines uh, into it. Uh, Leaves will be dark green with the, the, the as you see that the, as you see that some uh, swirl pieces over here which represent uh, the grape uh, tendrils and then the leaf wise I'm not going to use any kind of uh, uh, grape leaf because you need to have a silicone molds and pushers and everything for that uh, as you know that I try not to use this kind of things for uh, teaching purposes so that's why I will be going to do a tulip leaves which is quite a, a bit of small little tricks involved in that. For the basket viewing, you need a kind of basket viewing board, which is available in the market, uh, either out of wood or plastic. Uh, there is some pre-drill holes that you can uh, set up for small or larger baskets with the stainless steel sticks. So that is uh, for sure it's a very useful uh, tool, but I'm going to show you another way today, which you don't need to spend any money. So it's a very practical solution and uh, I'm going to do that after I introduce you all the tools and ingredients right after that. 